Welcome back everybody and check this out the Sajem or Sajem or well in Romanian we call it Sajem it's a French uh, phone manufacturer uh, and this model is the MyV55 I have had some experience with Sajem phones in my very distant past my first phone was a Sajem 92 not really a pleasant experience but then again the phone was second hand so I cannot really hold it against the French company uh, though I must admit they were on the bottom end of the bargain so they were not really fighting with Nokia they were um, the likes of Alcatel and I don't know other another uh, um, budget oriented phone company example right now but really this thing I have no clue at what it really is because it's a Vodafone branded phone I don't know if it's supposed to be a flagship or a, really a, an entry level or a mid-tier uh, positioned uh, phone I really have no clue but I do have some specs handy so it was launched in 2004 it has a 0.3 megapixel camera so that's a VGA 640 by 480 um, photo camera it holds a mini sim it has 97 grams and a color display of 128 by 160 pixel resolution a 65 kilo color display and an internal memory of 4 megabytes it has no selfie camera it doesn't have video uh, it doesn't have a 3.5 millimeter jack it doesn't have Wi-Fi Bluetooth so it has infrared port uh, but it doesn't have a radio nor does it offer a USB connection I believe the infrared port is somewhere around here yes you can see here on uh, this piece of colored black um, black glossy bezel should hold, hold the infrared port but more on the phone in a minute let's switch to the tabletop view so we can talk in depth about this thing so the Sajem my v55 it's looking rather good though I don't really like this crowded um, busy design of the keyboard layout right here um, to my mind if they wanted to make it dynamic and v-shaped and uh, well I don't know masculine sober and form follows function this keyboard really does look rather busy and hard to use uh, difficult to look at and just plain old old tiring but anyway that's what they that's what Sajim went with so that's what we get the construction itself is okay though it's plastic fantastic all the way it doesn't really creak all that much but um, it's not top tier like the Nokia's though it wasn't supposed to be uh, let me just open the phone so I can show you the innards here's an interesting looking and rather a nice looking latch you just clip it into place now it does sound a bit rough but that's because I think this phone has accumulated dirt and grime over the years so it's not a, an issue of the quality of the device itself so let me just try to open it up so you just loosen this thing out like this so the battery is here we're gonna have to move fast with this presentation because the battery even though it's charged it doesn't really hold much of a of power of juice so it's also a bit swollen let me just show you the the battery itself in case you are wondering what the battery for the Sajem My V55 really is mm -hmm. 
There we go. It's conveniently mentioned that it's made in Europe, though, which part of Europe it doesn't really say. Here's the inside of the phone. I don't know if you can see this. I'll get closer. Yes. And the SIM tray and that's about it. So let's quickly start it up so I can do some demo of the phone and hopefully take a picture with it and see what the results are. Though I must confess I will be very swift with this one as uh, it only shows about 10% battery left. So let's turn it on, see what's what. <laughs> the display quality is abysmal. And the speaker quality as well. Okay, so it appears the SIM is locked and I cannot enter the menu in any way, sort of fashion. But you can also see the battery is really, really running out of juice. So let me try another artifice. Turn off the phone quickly. Yeah, goodbye. Good riddance, I say. By removing the SIM card, I hope to get a demo look into the menu of this Sajim My V55. I believe that's still an option. So let's try that right now. Let's turn it on. Okay, I don't really like the sound of this uh, <laughs> speaker. Sim not present. Okay, so let's do a demo. Oh my lord. Oh my. This is not a good sound to this phone. Yeah, I cannot really feel it, Sajem, I'm sorry. <laughs> Even for 2004, I think this presentation and tacky tune and low quality speaker is just unacceptable. So let's see what will happen next. Nothing really. It just shows you <laughs> how annoying this phone can get. What I could have shown you is the abysmal quality of the VGA camera, but then again, I don't want to poke fun at this phone because people have used it in the past and it represented a mode of communication to some, though I really don't see what reason you would have to buy this phone over a Nokia or a, a better equipped, even a Siemens phone or a Sony Ericsson phone from the period would have been a better choice. Though I think I have a hint as and a clue as to what why that was. You see this Vodafone logo, I think these were given away as, you know, uh, bonus phones on a contract, so on a contract on a mobile phone plan, get two years of um, on a mobile phone plan and get a free phone. Though I really would not have considered it even back then. But anyway, let's drop some conclusions about this device. So the Sajem My V55. Is this a quirky device? Well, not really. It's a run-of-the-mill mobile phone with some tacky, over-the-top design to its keyboard. Well, it is true that in the past, Sajem has made some beautiful, interesting, maybe flawed, but very successful and worthy phones. This one is not amongst them. Um, Having said that, I would just go ahead and skip this um, mobile phone and not add it to my collection. It's not valuable. 
And it's not that often that you get to see one, but it will never grow in value and it doesn't really offer anything to your, and doesn't add up anything to your collection. So thanks again for watching. And as always, remember, I buy, hoard, collect, and sometimes borrow weird, obsolete tech stuff like this one. So you don't have to. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.